In this video, we will learn after you create the frequency distribution using the pivot table and how can you convert your frequency distribution to uh, percent frequency distribution and uh, cumulative frequency distribution and the cumulative relative uh, cumulative percent frequency distribution. So that's what we're going to learn in this part. So first of all, this is the table we created from the previous video called uh, how to create a frequency distribution when you have the zero count um, uh, in your uh, classes. So this is your frequency distribution, so you can see uh, the grand total is 120. So how can we convert this one to percent frequency distribution? So you definitely can use in the calculation when we go through in the class using each cell divided by 120. So that will give you the relative frequency and multiply by 100, so you will, will get percent. So instead of doing that, we actually can use a computer to generate for us. So after you receive the frequency distribution through the pivot table method, Choose one of the cell on the account of the GPA, right click the mouse, and then find the show the value as, show value as, and then you will choose the one called uh, the percentage of grand total. So the grand total means you will convert the frequency to the percent frequency based on the grand total, which is sample size. So in another word, you're using each frequency divided by the sample size and then times 100. So that's what we want, right? So then you will choose the grand total. So you can find this actually is our percent frequency distribution, right? Percent frequency distribution. So after you receive the percent frequency distribution, you can very easily to understand what is the uh, relative frequency distribution. So if you delete the percentage sign in another cell, delete the percentage sign, and then move the decimal places uh, to the left, two more decimal places to the left. Or you can just let me show you and uh, copy and paste as numbers. So if you paste as numbers, so you will see they already convert the percentage to the relative frequency. So it's very straightforward from percent frequency to the relative frequency. And the next, how can we get our cumulative frequency based on our uh, frequency distribution? So let me uh, show you back. So this is a frequency distribution. So how can we get cumulative frequency distribution? So by right click the mouth, show value as, we move down, called the running total in. So that actually is an option to give you the cumulative frequency distribution. So because we you need to select uh, running total in which variable. So we only have one variable, it's GPA, so you can just click OK. So now you can see this actually is our cumulative frequency distribution. You can see our frequency keep adding up. So this is cumulative frequency distribution. So how about the cumulative relative frequency distribution? And based on your cumulative frequency distribution, choose one of the value under the count of the GPA. Right click the mouth. And then call the show value as. Instead of running total in, we call it percentage running total in. So we'll convert the cumulative frequency distribution to cumulative relative or cumulative percent frequency distribution. And then you click OK. So they're all percentage, so they're not cumulative relative frequency. So you, you, what you need to do is just copy and paste. And we choose the second one, which means only the value. So now you can see what we got here is our relative, uh, cumulative relative frequency distribution. So it's very easy. But again, as I said, in the class, we learned the formula. You definitely can step by step to figure out what are they. But obviously, here we have a shortcut, and feel free to use it.